firms and households in Singapore could soon see more stable electricity prices. Now, it's all under a new plan to tap smaller power sources like charges and rooftop solar panels to stabilize energy supply. Another initiative aims to nudge consumers to adjust electricity consumption patterns in real time. Rachel Teng explains. One EV alone can power itself, but a whole fleet of them plugged into the grid can help manage power supply fluctuations. It's one of several new energy resources being tested, among other sources like battery storage systems and rooftop solar panels. Together, they form what's called a virtual power plant, a smart control centre that decides in real time when and how to dispatch energy. Instead of installing large uh, power plant generators, now we are looking at distributed sources that is connecting to the grid and then we can leverage these distributed sources to become another set of power plant. That's why it's called virtual power plant. Other than broadening where Singapore gets its power supply from, the nation is also looking at adjusting its energy demands live. With greater diversity in sources and loads, the grid needs to become more flexible and more responsive to changes in supply and demand. EMA is therefore introducing a demand side flexibility roadmap. This outlines EMA's plans to harness the demand side resources to meet the needs of the power grid caused by supply and demand or demand fluctuations. For instance, businesses are encouraged to consume less power when electricity prices are high. One expert says this may help firms and households adjust their energy usage patterns and save costs. Instead of choosing to watch your favourite show on TV at 7.45 at the price of electricity that you face then, you can be aware that if you just waited 15 to 20 minutes, the price of electricity will go down. And so you could just delay your behavior just a tiny bit. And then in reverse, I can push the price up knowing that you'll be aware that that price is reflecting increased stress on the system. For a start, transport firm Comfort Delgro is partnering the EMA to pilot this for 13 months. It will use an intelligence sensing network to automatically adjust its energy use in response to power system needs.